Let's uh, take in another rotation on its success. So here I am to update you with the latest happenings that took place around the globe in the last 24 hours. Hello, I'm Zinia Kamil and welcome to INS Top Stories. Trump signs $2.3 trillion relief spending package. After much delay, US President Donald Trump has finally signed a massive amount of $2.3 trillion government funding and coronavirus relief package. The White House announced averting a shutdown of the federal government and delivering a much-needed economic aid amid worsening pandemic situation in the world's hardest-hit country. According to the White House, the president signed the package late Sunday from his Mar-a-Lago state in Palm Beach, Florida, days after he asked lawmakers to boost stimulus checks to $2,000 for individuals and $4,000 for couples, while expressing displeasure over the bill's $600 direct payment for individuals as ridiculously low. Rahul on short personal trip abroad, says Congress. Just a day before the party's foundation day, the former chief of Congress party, Rahul Gandhi, has left for a personal visit to abroad. Congress spokesperson Randeep Surjewala confirmed the news to media. The trip comes at a time when the party is to celebrate its foundation day on Monday and take out a Tiranga Yatra across the country. Rahul Gandhi on Thursday had led a delegation to meet President Ramnath Kovind against the farm laws and submitted a memorandum to him urging that he should ask the government to reconsider the demands of the farmers. He had also demanded a joint session of the parliament and withdrawal of the three agricultural laws. ED summons to Sanjay Raut's wife. The ruling Mahavikas Agadi allies have joined forces against the Bharatiya Janata Party at the centre a day after the enforcement directorate slapped summons on Varsha Raut, the wife of Shiv Sena chief spokesperson Sanjay Raut's wife, here on Monday. The Nationalist Congress Party and Congress along with Sena leaders slammed the BJP for systematically targeting the opposition leaders who dared to speak against the party or its policies. U.S. stops China from installing on Dalai Lama. Less than a week after the U.S. Senate unanimously passed the Tibetan Policy and Support Act of 2020 despite China's protest, President Donald Trump has signed it into a law. A decision that strengthened the American policy on Tibet and reaffirmed the government's steadfast support for the Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration. Built on the historic Tibet Policy Act of 2002, the TPSA makes it official the U.S. policy that decisions regarding the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama are exclusively within the authority of the current Dalai Lama, Tibetan Buddhist leaders and Tibetan people. India on the verge of victory over Australia and the second test. India got a foot in the door of the second test after they reduced Australia to 133 for six wickets in the second innings at the end of third day's play in the second test at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on Monday. The Aussies are ahead of India by just two runs and have four wickets in hand. India are yet to bat in the second innings. Well, this was all from our news decks today. Keep watching for more update. This was Xenia Kamil signing off.